Here is my scan. It's a small scan with three setups. This here is a big table and this is me. The objective in this tutorial is to demonstrate how the smooth surface tool together with the limit box tool can be used to eliminate noise. Start by selecting one of the setups in the target area and then from the toolbar in the right hand bottom corner click on setup cloud. And there I am. From here the next step is to create a limit box. In the highlighted zone in the toolbar notice that no limit box tools are currently available. However, by switching to the True Slicer tool, the Limit Box tools are now available. Start by clicking the drop down and select the middle option, Create Quick Limit Box. To place the Limit Box, click on the setup you are working with. So now, there is a red cube enclosing the setup. Notice the third setup is now not seen. This is because only the points enclosed by the limit box are visible. From there, move on over to the limit box manager. This is the limit box control center. I have one limit box that I created previously. I can delete this box and now click save to create a new limit box. The limit box has now changed color because each limit box has its own color. Then I deselect the visibility and I minimize the dialog. And then from the bundle cloud, orbit the model into a more conducive orientation. And then toggle the limit box visibility back on. It is possible to orbit with the limit box on, but I find it far more cumbersome. To rotate the limit box, drag the mouse to the edge and hold the Alt key as you drag the mouse in the rotation direction. I can now push in the box's faces to condense the model. It is important to note that the limit box is not deleting the points. Think of this as a cropping tool. So I can repeat the workflow until I have a concise space to work within. The next step is to activate the Smooth Surface tool. Notice as I launch the tool, the model switches from color to a gray scale. Double click to activate the tool. The goal here is to remove my silhouette from the scan. The Smooth Surface tool does this by marking my selection, which in this case is the table, so that any points beyond that plane are identified in red. I can add more clicks to increase the tolerance until most of the table is selected. So I am left with most of my silhouette in red. Now let's focus some attention below. This is where Cyclone will action the selection to delete the marked points. Just to be clear, the marked points are the red points. Firstly, I can draw a fence around the target area. And then click Delete Inside. And notice that the silhouette is gone but the marked points that were not enclosed by the fence remain. The second option is to just delete in bulk by clicking the delete all marked. Both methods have their specific applications. To finalize, go back up to the smooth surface tool and click. And now as I turn off the limit box, so that the whole model is again visible, you can see that I have now been 
eliminated from the model. In the last part of the tutorial, I will repeat this workflow to remove the other two silhouettes. This is a great opportunity to summarize the key steps. Step 1. Use the limit box. Step 2. Use the limit box manager to toggle visibility. Step 3. Use the Smooth Surface tool. Step 4. Draw a fence around marked areas to be removed. Thanks so much for watching. If this video was useful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future content and I will see you in the next video.